everyone welcome back today we have a very special trip well it's going to be a five-day trip with a camper van and this camper van is not the common camper van you might expect to see this one is called a cabin camper van so it tries to imitate a Norwegian cabin so like a little mountain house so the interior is all in wood and it's very cute and I am so excited because it's my first time ever going on a trip going like traveling on a camper van or a motorhome like a place where you have your bed on the car so I'm really excited here she is she is called Sarah and she's from cabin campers which are kindly partnering with me in this video so we will be traveling in Norway with this van and let me show you the interior Ta -da! first of all we have a kitchen with fridge stove and everything you can imagine it comes with everything you need we have like stuff for cooking in this little baskets then there's Daniel in front. And then on this side, we have a little table, adjustable table with two little sofa chairs and our bed. Some storage on the top and under the bed, we also have some storage where we have our luggage right now. The doors, the back doors also open. Uh, so you can actually sleep with the head here the table goes down and you can have the bed all the way until here and just like sleep with the view so i'm really really excited to try this baby we have already drove a couple of hours from oslo we have stopped in a little like a roadside stop we will try to do our lunch here this is our view right now so that's the background noise you're hearing probably is this huge huge river which is very very pretty the weather is very nice today sunny quite warm um, but I think we will have rain for the rest of the day so the plan is to follow the Sun wherever we have no plan to where to go we are just going to follow or try at least to follow the Sun so just drive to where the Sun is so let's see where that leads us look at her it's also very easy to drive so i'm very very happy if you guys want to check their camper vans just go to their website you can actually see it there www.cabincampters.no and check them out because the prices are quite okay for what you get and they are really cozy inside I love all the wood. The bed also came already made, so you don't need to bring any sheets or pillows or anything. While I'm cooking, I can show you a bit of the kitchen. So this is a gas um, cooking top. There you have the garbage and the gas. Here you have several like kitchen things and you have more kitchen things so it comes all with a van and here you have a little cabinet here we already organized our stuff we bought some olive oil uh, this came with the cabin so you can make your own coffee the fridge is under daniel's butt right now <laughs> something i was surprised i was not expecting is that we actually have water you see it's like a pumping system kind of so that's really handy. It's already night time. We had dinner and we found our perfect spot for the night. It's not like super wow but <laughs> it's on the way and it has kind of like a nice view I can show you through the window because it's very cold outside I don't know if you can see but it's like a little park with some tables and then you can see the mountains on the back now I am going to attempt to dismount this and 
mount the rest of the bed so we have like a bigger bed to sleep. I have also put all our clothes up there so we can dress up and have like clothes ready. We kind of have decided already uh, where to go tomorrow and our plan is to do a really famous hike to this lake with the boats and the glacier view. So that's our plan. Let's see how the weather will be. One thing good about having like a camper van is that you can choose on the spot where to go, where to sleep. You know, like you don't need to have plans really. So I'm really enjoying that part that we can just like drive and then decide along the way where to go. This is our tech part of the cabin. <laughs> we have a place to put our chargers and this is the battery level, which we were told it can't go down 11 I think and this is the heater system and we even have little like fairy lights and normal lights although during this time of the year in Norway it's supposed to be quite light during the night it we don't have like long nights anymore but the weather is actually very crappy so it looks dark either way but right now it's like 10 o'clock and it's not night. If it wasn't cloudy, you would know what I mean. Okay, mounted it. And now just put the bed over it. Ta -da! Bed made. Oi. We decided to use that side for the heads, although those doors open. Just because it's so cold that we're not going to open those doors. And we're just going to use like this corridor to get out of the bed. If you are wondering, what about your bathroom? What about your toilet? How do you go to the toilet and shower and stuff like that? Well, this fan doesn't have a toilet, it's too small for that. Uh, but Norway has a really good system of bathrooms and toilets along the roads. So we're going to use that, uh, they're pretty good actually and uh, some of them I think have showers or we will have to stop like midway for a shower in some like camping park or something like that and just uh, we brought some like wet towels to wash ourselves just like a like a old school heatitude but uh, in a camper van. We're about to go to bed but I just wanted to show you guys with the the main lights off and just the fairy lights look so cute and now you can actually see how bright it is outside still and Daniel is <laughs> Daniel is putting stuff through the curtain so if you <laughs> it's not a creature that lives under our bed it's really just Daniel <laughs> Daniel 